Um, thank you, Prime Minister. Um, first of all, you looked very angry when you were speaking to Jean-Claude Juncker earlier today. What did you say to him, and did he admit that he had called you nebulous? Um, and secondly, the summit conclusions suggest the EU is not willing to budge, but you appear to be suggesting that they might. Can you tell us more about what they've said to you about their willingness to move? Because if Parliament won't budge and the EU won't budge, is it time for you to budge? Well, first of all, I had a robust discussion with uh, Jean-Claude Juncker. I think that's the sort of discussion you're able to have when you've uh, developed a working relationship and you work well together. Uh, and uh, what came out of that was his clarity that actually he'd been talking, when he used that particular phrase, he'd been talking about the, a general level of debate. Uh, and indeed, I, carry, you know, I had further conversations with him through, uh, through the morning. Uh, in relation to the question of the further assurances, as I say, there is work to be done. It's clear that clarification, uh, we can look at this issue of further clarification, uh, and that has been something I've been discussing with a number of EU leaders and with, obviously, uh, as I said, President Tusk and President Juncker. So in the coming days, of course, there's a timetable for us. Uh, we will be bringing a vote back to Parliament before the 21st of January. So we will be working uh, expeditiously over the coming days to uh, seek those further assurances that I believe MPs will need.